They probably should have marked the ball at the 49 yard line. Instead, LSU gets the benefit of the doubt. And the long throw from Daniels to Malik Neighbors. Stays on his feet. Tough to bring down. Malik Neighbors fights his way to the AM 32 yard line to pick up 18. We're going to start a freshman at Mike Linebacker because he's that good. Daniels, pocket collapsing. Avoids the set, tucks it under. The C's part. He's to the 15 yard line. Out of bounds inside the 10. With the stack alignment at the top of your screen. But they watch motion. that fade. They motion Brian Thomas. And instead, on the dive up the middle, Logan Diggs is in for an LSU touchdown. To be selfish in this one. He just wants to do whatever he has to do to allow the LSU Tigers to walk out of here with a win. Quarterback draw. Going nowhere. Henderson brought down behind the line as Braden Swinson. Henderson over the middle. In the soft spot right at the first down line to gain. Is an Ice Smith. The fake fooled no one. And he is buried for a loss five, at least six, twice on fourth down. Got a fourth down conversion to keep this drive alive. And now third and 11 to start the second quarter. There's the check down underneath. Room to run. Inside the five-yard line, down to the four, goes David Bailey. Down to nine. And here they come. Jaden Daniels under pressure. In trouble. And wrestled down. To get their offense back on the field, it's the defense that's going to actually have to step up this time. Ruben Owens, first down. He picks up 12. And all of their weapons involved right now. Tackle for loss this time by Braden Swinson as he brought down Ruben Owens behind the line for a loss of three. This LSU offense from getting going, so if they can get three points here, he'll take it. Bond from 48. Plenty of distance. And he's got it. Texas A&M brings an edge blitz. Jaden Daniels up the middle. He's got a first down. And he grinds out a few extra yards. Gets tossed out of bounds. That'll tack on 15 more. Damani Richardson costs his team. Well, Matt, we've got a close one here after the injury timeout. Spinning out of trouble is Jaden Daniels. Still on his feet down inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. He's doing a really nice job of taking matters into his own hands and keeping his team on the field. And there goes Malik Neighbors back in the game after a one-play injury timeout. Daniels goes his way, and Neighbors spins, breaks a tackle with a stiff arm. He's got a first down. Number one in America in receiving yards per game. Third down inside the seven-yard line. Daniels on a roll now. Front right pylon, touchdown Malik Neighbors, wide open. And you have to be tighter in coverage. We just talked about the air in the defense. Anderson runs into the pressure and now runs away from it. Gets tripped up. What a terrific play by Ovi Agufo. Has either been the quarterback's legs or number zero, Anaya Smith. Look for them to try to get him involved here. Anderson wide open down the sideline easy pitch and catch first down Not lost on me that Elijah Robinson is a defensive line coach. He wants his D line well rested as well Tipped ball at the line on the carol. It looks like it might have been scooped up and it was They're Not using one here Spinning out is Henderson underneath Jake Johnson at the Slide. For a touchdown for Texas A&M. He is keeping them on their toes and showing them all the different elements of what this A&M offense can be. Play action. Henderson on the move. He's going to heave a jump ball down the sideline, and he finds his man. Terrific adjustment to the football by John A. Walker, who's got another big play for A&M down to the 10-yard line. To the left for his literal life. And you can just see it. Hey, here's the play action. Oh, my goodness. Do you see Sage Ryan coming off the edge? My roommate's got him.
to be down there somewhere. And he throws it to John Day Walker, who makes the adjustment, which is why receivers play wide receiver and DBs play DB. Major Burns with that neck roll on. Le'Veon Moss is the eye back, but they'll dive in ahead with the up back. Is it Mark Naboo? And he's across for a touchdown as they gave it to the left guard. <laughs> is that big man touchdown for Texas a and Mason Taylor was in motion. Daniels out of the pocket. He's going to run for it and get it and then some. Daniels down the sideline. Finally wrestled out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. It's a goal to go situation for LSU after a 49-yard run. Talk about that game-breaking speed that he has. And when he sees green grass, that man is moving. Almost found his way all the way to the end zone. Zone read up the middle into the end zone. Josh Williams, touchdown, flag down at the line of scrimmage. Quarter opens with a Texas A&M touchdown. And once again, very unselfish play here by Jaden Daniels. They'll give it to Moss. He's got it. And then some. All the way down inside the 15 to about the 12-yard line. Walker, Smith, and Thomas out to the right. Quarterback draw. Anderson brought down. Harold Perkins didn't buy the fake. A loss of a yard. I just couldn't make it. So here's Jalen Henderson looking for another third down conversion. And he throws an interception. Greg Penn able to haul it in. And the first takeaway for the LSU defense sets the Bayou Bengals up with great field position. Very, very good. No, yes, yes. Jaden Daniels looking for the end zone. Touchdown. Brian Thomas Jr. does it again from 23. And turn it into seven. Watch how Brian Thomas goes up and mosses this man in the back of the end zone. Gets both feet in, controls the ball all the way down. This is what you call high-pointing the football. All my receivers at home, pay attention to what number 11 just did as you see it from the progressive pylon cam. Look at that view. You to run the ball, take the easy completions, and allow Henderson to get back in rhythm. Henderson on a rollout, and he's going to take a sack. Runs out of bounds for a three-yard loss. He was bumped out right on the sideline, pursued by Greg Penn, Texas A&M's. Third and long, the guy that he's really been like hitting is Jade Walker in these situations. Trying to keep his eyes downfield. Tough to do when the pocket comes apart, as it just did. LSU trying to build Matt on their recent lead over Texas A&M. Scene shot, neighbors. It takes three Aggies to surround him. Another blitz. One on one for neighbors. He's got it. Touchdown. Oh my goodness. Catch by Malik Neighbors. Daniels. We're gonna see if he was in here, but it looked like he was to me. Here's the catch. There's the foot. In college football, you only need one. Looks like he controls it all the way to the ground. Seven minutes left in this game. You're down by two scores. You got to trust the young man to get you back into it. Four-man rush off the wrong foot. A terrific throw by Jalen Henderson and breaking free. All the way down to the goal line is right as he in. Touchdown. Just went out here on a simple out route off of a chip. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another tackle. And he's still rumbling and stumbling to the end zone. And here is the progressive pylon cam of that glorious run into the end zone by Max Wright. Jaden Daniels back to work here on a rollout. Finds the soft spot. Catch and run again from Malik Neighbors. Down the sideline. Stays in bounds. Malik Neighbors with a flag down. Daniels, one-on-one, -on -one. Kyron Lacey, touchdown! Will this 
this one last exclamation point be enough when it comes time for the Heisman voters to make their decision? I'm standing next to one. I know you're undecided, but that's a pretty good way to end the season if you're Jake Day.